welcome to American Beer TV. Today we've got the first celebrity beer. It is. Yeah, this was. This is the legendary Cuvée du Tommy. Tom Arthur is the brewer over at Port Brewery Company, mm -hmm. Lost Abbey, right San Marcos, California. They've got an amazing, amazing barrel program Definitely. over there, and they brew up some wacky stuff. Crazy stuff. So, um, I remember seeing an interview with uh, Dr. Bill saying that this was the first, like, celebrity beer that he was waiting in line to get. <laughs> You know, yeah. so it's like, wow, that's 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 pretty impressive right yeah. there. So, anyway, um, but uh, so what is it? First, uh, let's let's get into it a little bit here. Basically, um, they took their Judgment Day stout, okay. um, and they aged that in uh, bourbon barrels, and then they added. Um, I'm not sure if Judgment Day was already in bourbon barrels or not. I'm not, I'm not certain on that. Um, but then they took that and uh, put raisins and cherries in it, and oh, wow. bretomyces created a secondary fermentation, and then aged that also in red wine barrels. So that's so this is so it was aged. I think it's a bourbon it out. Yeah. And then they a bourbon they barrel aged it. stout gone through a secondary with bretomyces. Well, this is probably going to be flat. So yeah, there was no hint no pop at all. But I've heard that about this beer that it that it's yeah. flat. And this it one, is. Yeah, and this one, how old is this one? How long have you been holding on? I've this had one? this one for easily six months, if not. There's a little tiny bit of the white. And there's a little, little floaties in it. Is, yeah. Sometimes they print on their bottle. Yeah, I no, think, I didn't so, see I, it. So this would be the 2011 yeah, release. Least, so yeah. I got it sometime in 2000. Yeah, it's, it's a little brown, a little murky. It doesn't look like a stout. It looks kind of like a dark brown ale, but yeah, uh, you can definitely tell it's. I've good. tasted this beer before. I've never like sat down and actually right had to drink it. I had it at a festival once, so it was kind of you know it's always hard to taste beers at festivals. Yeah. I mean, your first maybe five you can kind of get an idea, but then you usually BSing with everybody yeah. and you're not really focused on tasting your beers. You know, and you blow out your palate yeah. real quick on that because they're normally some pretty heavy end beers, but. You know, this one you can definitely, I mean, I'm, you know, going in for the nose here. Uh, it smells really malty. Yeah, you definitely can, can tell that it's, it's And then there's the, a slight bourbon barrel hint of, uh, of sourness. Yeah, yeah I'm picking I up the sour, I'm the, picking uh, up cherries, I'm picking some up... Some of the vanilla notes from the mm -hmm. bourbon. The yeah. bourbon barrel age. Um, Nose-wise, super complex. Yeah. There's a lot going There's on. A lot going on. And it's 11% alcohol. And it has a little bit of that kind of wine characteristic. Maybe yeah. that's some of the, the sourness. Yeah. yeah. And it was aged in red wine barrels too, so it probably picked up some of that. And it's uh, 11, 11 percent. Yeah. So crazy. Looks definitely looks different. There are some some floaties and stuff. Yeah. In there. So it's it's on the front of the bottle. It says malt beverage brewed with raisins, cherries. Or with ra uh, with raisins, with cherries mm -hmm. added, and aged in bourbon barrels. Yeah. So it's definitely got a real, you know, you, every time you go back to the nose, you pick up something a little different. You're picking up like some some like brown sugar, caramely vanilla brown notes. Sugar. Yeah. Which yeah, brown sugar. Unique, yeah. Which I think is kind of unique. Yeah. You know, for uh, for a beer. Um, let's taste it. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's see this. Cheers, guys. Wow, that is really nice. Whoa. So it's it's not as sour as I I remember tasting this beer. Like, wow, it's really sour, but it's not really super tart. Not not compared it's to really the, nice. The major, you know, it's really, really nice. Tart ones. It is. It's tart, and it is has I definitely has some good sours, but it also has lots of sweetness in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I get the cherry and vanilla. Yeah, the cherries in there. Nice kind of like a dry, nose. tart fruit. Yeah, it's good. Lots of vanilla. Um, really pretty sweet, um, which I think kind of balances out the sour. It has a little sour. bit of that pucker. A mm -hmm. little tiny bit. Yeah. But it's not overwhelming. No, this is this is a really nice, interesting 
Uh, you're here. Yeah, I don't know. You just want it pretty complex. I don't know if I pass complex. this off on somebody that was kind of a beginner. No, I would not. Drinker. But I think it would kind of throw them off. But it's it's got. A, I mean, you, it's one of these. One of the things I notice. I just want to keep it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't want to swallow it because it's got so much flavors going, so many flavors going on yeah, in sure. there, you know. Yummy. Oh, man. I'm trying to identify everything. And there's a, a feeling when it's on your tongue. Kind of like a, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a sharpness. It's not really a... Yeah, if this beer was super carbonated, yeah, it might have a different... Like, it's got mouth, a real nice... Obviously mouthfeel. a different mouthfeel, but like, I think it would have some different flavor characters. Yeah, but I don't too. I don't miss the carbonation at all. No, I think it's good like this. Yeah, I, 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 think I it agree. It should be like if it, if it If it was car really carbonated or, you know... It would uh, kind of have a little bite to it, Yeah, this it is so smooth. Yeah, and it's got a really nice, thick, luscious. This is a great temperature. Field. We let it set out for a few minutes too, so it's yeah. a really nice temperature. It's not super cold. Man, yeah, it's that brown sugar in there. It's you're really picking up. Yeah, I totally get the brown sugar. sugar. You know, um, that little sweet, little yeah. bits of molasses. Yeah, molasses notes, and there, there's lots of fruit notes. Yeah, the, lots of the cherryness the, in there. The um, kind of the tart, puckery kind of. Yeah, that dry. Feel. It kind of hits way at the end, though. Yeah, like it, the, the tartness kind of builds a little bit mm -hmm. throughout throughout the the, the taste. This yeah, has got sure. tons of stuff going on. This is a totally uh, an epic quality beer. I've tasted, you know, quite a few really awesome sour barrel aged beers, but nothing that's quite like this. This mm -hmm. one's got. Just a tremendous array of flavors in there. Yeah, the so rate, the rate has just came through right now too. Yeah. Yeah. At first, I was hitting the cherries, and now after you, you drink it and smell it, the raisins start to come through. That kind of dried fruit kind of characteristic. Yeah. Uh, right. Raisins in the middle of beer, it. I love raisins in beer. It's, yeah. It, it just works. add this like. It adds a wine. Note. Yeah, no, a little no. wine note and like this. Body and yeah, right sweetness. in the middle of, yeah. of, of, of the, the taste, it really does taste almost exactly like red wine. Like in a, there's a there's mm -hmm. a portion right in the middle of the of the flavor. Yeah, like you a know. real jammy cat yeah. or something. Like, like a, I, I was thinking a yeah, like a, a jammy Zinfandel or Z, you, you know. Sure. Uh, so yeah, it's you've got red wine notes, fruit notes, vanilla notes, the barrel aged notes, the stout notes brown sugar you i mean you've got all, all this stuff going on here yeah dude this is just cuvee is that's a good term for yeah it, it's it has a lot, a, a lot yeah of it, i mean it it, it, it describes the process you know because it's a wine term for blend but it also really is just a blend of such a tremendous array of flavors this is uh fucking top notch here good stuff yeah definitely cool. serious Cheers. guys out Cheers. There to drink barrel aged craft beer. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome.